welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. No, I'm not wearing a wig. This is not a wig, I dyed my hair. <laughs> I have been saying it for a while that I wanted to go dark and I finally was just like, dye it, just dye it. I also have some extensions to make it just a touch longer. It's not crazy long, but you know, it's a little longer. It's a nice change, I'm really feeling it. Back on the dark side, no, but in all seriousness, like blonde, I was doing the blonde for like two years and my hair was just starting to get really damaged and I was like, my hair needs a break, give me a minute. This is actually a look that I've been wanting to film for some time now. I have been loving any like rosy toned makeup. Like I love like rose gold right now, like rose gold highlighters, rose gold pigments, just anything with like a rosy pinky tone has like been calling my name lately. I don't know why, I just don't. It's just been calling my name. Um, and actually Jeffree Star has been doing a lot of like those rosy toned makeup looks with a red lip and like I saw him in one of his videos like that and I was like, oh my God. I need to do that. So this is something I've wanted to do for a while. This look is a little bit different than what I normally do. I usually do a really smoky lower lash line. Look, I'm missing a nail. <laughs> Don't judge me. I usually do a really smoky lower lash line and for this look, I did not. I actually kept the lash line basically almost naked. I mean, I put a little bit because I can't just completely skip the lower lash line, but I only put a little bit so the top is very heavy and the bottom is like very bare, which gives kind of like that um, healthy, wide-eyed, like, youthful type look, you know what I mean? So I'm really feeling how this came out. Um, I also did like a winged liner, which you know I don't do all the time. Um, and you know, just like stuck with the whole rose gold kind of um, theme. I even used like a rose gold highlight and I love how this came out. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Well, hello everybody and happy 2017. Welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so, so much for watching and tuning in. Look at this amazing mug that I got. I just had to share it with you guys because I haven't been showing my mug so often. But this is from Home Goods and it's like marble with gold. Like, oh, isn't it so beautiful? It's my new favorite mug. Home Goods has the best mugs. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the color Mirage. And I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone. Um, my brows are not done in this video, so just don't pay attention to that. Thank you so much. So now I'm gonna go into the Manny Emmy Way palette that she, that he, not she, <laughs> did with Makeup Geek. And I'm gonna go into this center color called Sora. Unfortunately, this shadow is only available in this palette. It's not a regular Makeup Geek shadow, but I had to use it because it's like the perfect rosy transition color for this look and I have been obsessed with this color lately. So I'm just putting this directly in my crease, putting the most product inside of the crease, blending around to make sure that it looks nice and blended, um, especially up towards the brow bone and I'm flicking it out on the outer edge because I am going to be doing a winged liner. So I want to create more of that cat eye type effect. Now I'm going into the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette and I'm going to go into the color Maple and a smaller blending brush and I'm just gonna start to define my crease. As you can see, I'm going from the outer edge and taking it in about three fourths of the way. I'm not going all the way into my tear duct, I'm going about three fourths of the way in and I'm also flicking it out on the outer edge and I'm putting it on the outer V of my eye also. If you don't have this palette, a good dupe for it would be like Anastasia Beverly Hills Caramel. It's just like a nice, warm, medium brown color. Now I'm going back in with my original blending brush and just blending everything together to make sure everything looks nice and seamless and perfect and there's no harsh lines. So now to further deepen the outer edge, I'm gonna go on with Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge. You can get this on its own as a single shadow. I just have it in this little palette, so that's how I'm using it. And as you can see, I'm packing it onto the outer V of my eye, closest to my lash line, and then working it up to the outer edge of my crease. I'm keeping this color really mainly on the outer edge of my crease. I'm taking it about halfway in, but I'm keeping it most intense and most deep on the outer edge. And then I'm flicking it out on the outer edge because we're doing our winged liner. So basically just repeating the same steps over and over again. Just with every color, I'm keeping it closer and closer to the outer edge so it looks nice and blended and ombre out. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? And then I was pointing at the wrong color. I don't know why I did that. I meant to point at Rose Quartz, which is also from the Lorac Mega Pro, the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. Wow. Wow, Debbie, get it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack that in all over my lid to meet that Anastasia fudge color. Once I've packed that on all the way, I went ahead and picked up this highlighter from JCAT. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but I'll have it listed below. And I did spritz my brush with some Fix Plus to intensify it. I just didn't show it in this video. But I sprayed it with some Fix Plus and I packed this on right on top to really help it pop and make it more rosy and bright. And just like, look at that, isn't it beautiful? 
So lately when I do my winged eyeliner, what I like to do is I like to first go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and create kind of like my shape because the brush on it is just so, so, so easy to use. So as you can see, I just went to the outer edge of my eye and I made a line up towards my eyebrow and then brought it back in and now I'm just filling it in with the pen. Um, even though I love this brush and I love the shape that I make with it because it's just so easy to work with because it's so precise and small, it's not extremely, extremely black and it's not extremely, extremely matte. As you can see, it's like a little bit dull. So I always like to go in with my Inglot gel liner in the color 77 right on top because this is like legit black. Like this is black as coal, like the blackest it can get. And I like to go right over top of that of the Kat Von D one with the Inglot one to really make it nice and dark. Now I just picked up a little pencil brush and more of the Anastasia Beverly Hills fudge color and I'm just deepening the outermost edge where my eyeshadow and the eyeliner meet to really intensify it and make it more smoky and sultry. And now using a makeup wipe, I'm just cleaning up under my eyes and I'm also going to use this makeup wipe to clean up the edge of my eyeliner to make sure it's just super sharp and perfect. So as you can see, I'm just going along the edge and cleaning it up until it's as sharp as I want it to be, which is, it's getting there, it's getting there. It takes a minute. If you don't want to pull your skin this much, which I, I should not have been pulling my skin this much, um, you can use like a little brush or some eye makeup remover. I was just being lazy. So now I'm using the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill face palette and I'm mixing together all three blushes. I'm putting that on the apples of my cheeks and honestly guys, I usually don't use the matte pink blush. I can't think of the name of it. I think it's called um, Pample Mousse or something. I usually use that. I don't use that one, I'm sorry. Um, and I used it this day and I don't like how it looked. It made my face look really ashy and kind of dull. So I wouldn't use that blush. I usually don't. I don't know why I did that day. And now I'm just going into Champagne Pop in this nice big fluffy Morphe brush. And I'm kind of highlighting all over the high points of my face. So my cheekbones, my nose, um, my chin, my forehead a little bit. I'm just doing kind of like a really messy highlight to give my face like an all over glow. And now I'm going back into this J Cat highlighter which I also spritzed with some Fix Plus but I did not show and a smaller brush and I'm just going to highlight the highest, highest points of my face. This just gives like a really nice like ombre effect to your highlight. So you have like this all over glow going on and then a really intense highlight just in the areas that are like the highest points of your face. You know what I'm saying guys? So now I'm going back into that Sora color and I'm just gonna smoke out my entire lower lash line from the outer edge all the way to the inner edge and um, call it a day. I'm not doing much in the lower lash line today. I'm really just, oh, there's Chris, he made a special appearance. I really just used that one color to kind of tie in all the rosiness, but I wanted to leave the lower lash line pretty naked. Now I'm using the Color, color Pop Eyeliner in the color Exit, which is just their white one to line my waterline. And I'm mixing together now the J Cat highlight with um, the Mary Luminizer highlight to highlight my inner corners. And now, I'm sorry it's blurry, but I'm just tight lining my upper um, lash line. Because whenever I do a winged liner and I'm gonna wear lashes, I don't like for the skin to show through. Sometimes you can kind of see your skin and it um, you know, just brings more attention to the fact that you're wearing false lashes. So I always like to tight line. And you can see what a difference brows and uh, eyelashes make, right? Isn't it crazy? It's uh, kind of crazy. So now I'm just using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water to set my whole face. I know it's a primer, but you can also use it as a setting spray. Oh, by the way, these lashes are the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. So now for lips, I'm just going to throw on a little bit of the Melted Matte Lipstick from Too Faced. And this is in the color Lady Balls. Not only do I love this color, it's such a beautiful, bright, true red. Um, I also love this formula. If you're somebody that loves a super dry matte liquid lipstick, I wouldn't recommend this. Um, it's not as dry as most, but that's why I love it. And once we put on the lipstick, we are complete and the look is done. watching I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful I feel like at the end of my videos I always say like the same thing I'm like a record on repeat at this point if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to my channel thank you guys and I will see you in my next video bye